down, looking down that deal. Bastard. <laughs> Kids, this is a message from your boy Diddy. Make sure you go buy your toothbrushes every night so you can clean your sneakers. Cause ain't nothing worse than having dirty sneakers, you hear? Thuggaboo is actually Sean's idea that myself and Marlon helped to sort of shape and add to creatively, but he's really kind of the one shepherding this one. The name Thuggaboo means hard on the outside, soft on the inside. So it just really means it's a, it's a good kid that dresses on the cutting edge. That's why Thuggaboo is created, is to help educate people. Where Boo York at? Where Boo York at? Where Boo York at? Growing up in New York influenced Thuggaboo because Thuggaboo is basically takes place in Boo York City. Boo York is like a cartoon version of New York. But, you know, we wanted to bring that real feel of New York. We didn't make it all nice and pretty and bubblegum. Nah, there's graffiti on the wall. There is dirt in the street. It is my life experience and my brother's life experience and uh, Maul and King's life experience of us in this city with all this energy and hustle and bustle. What New York is great for is it allows kids to use their imagination. It allows you to find fun in unfun situations. It allows you to always find a smile. And that's what I love about where we grew up in New York, and that's why we kept Boo York the same kind of way. Hi, yo. So what to all the little kiddies out there in TV land? No matter what size you are, it don't matter, cause you can still get people to love your style. These are just like kids, like fun-loving kids from the inner city who have dreams and who have intelligence and who have, you know, all the makings of successful people. D-Rock's character is basically, he's the leader. D-Rock is played by George Gore III, and George has an innocence about him and his voice that lent itself perfectly to D-Rock. D-Rock is Ralph Cramden meets Puff Daddy in Charlie Brown's body, but with Fat Albert skin color. Look at the size of that wrecking ball. He's a guy who has big dreams with a big head, and he goes for what it is that he dreams about. Often he don't factor in the, the what could happen if it fails, and he often does fail but he always tries and he constantly tries and one day he's gonna hit it big. Man, this is how you do it. When my rap career blows up and I make my first million, I'm gonna buy my mom and dad a house and then all we're gonna do is swim, eat candy, and write rhymes all day. He really can't rap that good, but he tries and George sucks at rapping, which works perfectly for D-Rock. I'm sitting in a room and I got a plan. The lights is real hot and I need a... Yeah, your rap career is gonna blow up all right. Cause you're gonna bomb at every show. Why you say that, Dee Dee? Because your rhymes are like daddy's feet. Corny. Man, you a little hater. Dee Dee is our loudmouth little sister. Oh, that's played by Countess Vaughn. And Countess Vaughn had the perfect little instigating loudmouth, that annoying little sister voice. She has a very big mouth. You know, she can't hold, she can't keep a secret. Dee Dee gives me a hard time. But just like any brother-sister relationship, there's love there. I'm telling. Go ahead. But I was gonna cut you in for 3% of the profits if you don't say anything. What kind of fool do you think I am? 5%. Deal. She can't hold water, yet she want to be female president. Going back to school this year puts me one step closer to college and one step closer to my lifelong dream of becoming the first female president. And I'm gonna make DJ my first man. I don't know about all that, though, too. She's always trying to do somebody's hair. She has a big crush on DJ. Man, I knew it. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of them stealing from my people. Your people? DJ is basically, he's Mike Rappaport. He's a white dude who, <laughs> who knows more about black culture than he does his own. 
Yeah, the black man. Did you know that the black man invented peanut butter? Did you know that? Mm, my baby's so smart. His parents wants to raise him one way, but he's attracted to the reality of his situation. The majority of his friends is black, and so he does feel the struggle of black people. So, so why they always have silly white man names like Skippies or Jiffs or or, or, or Planets? Well, when they gonna come out with a peanut butter named after a brother? Like I don't know, like Mustafa's Creamy Chunk Crunch. They already got one. It's called Reese's, and that's my favorite. But if Mustafa come out with one, with some peanut butter this good, I'ma take some of that too. No doubt, cause that's what sucks. Slim's played by my brother Sean, who somehow found a way to make himself sound like he's 500 pounds. Don't worry about keeping the honeys off. It's them pounds you need to worry about. Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful. Besides, you love my style. Ugh. Slim is a overweight um, kid who loves food, but he's very confident. So he thinks all the girls love him. I know you wasn't just daydreaming about Holly Berry when you got me standing right here. Now don't be jealous, Lisa. Even though her name may sound sweet, I only have eyes for you. I'm a little better. Ugh, Goldo. You love my stuff. It's a melting pot of characters. You have an Asian girl, we got a Puerto Rican girl, we have a black kid, you got a white kid, and you got your down south representative, which is dirty. All he cares about are his clean tennis shoes. But the rest of his body and his clothes, everything is just filthy dirty. Dirty is like kind of like the down south guy who has all the down south slang. And then when he gets excited, he uses it all in one, and it becomes gibberish. Way to educate the freight. Put this kid, I've been feeling great. You hear me? What I'm time looking like that deal. Do like that, 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 like that, yeah. What? He said he can't wait to go school shopping to get him some new sneakers. Oh. So nobody understands it, but D Rock does, because that's his cousin. Mama always said for me to leave my mark on the world. <laughs> Baller. You hear me? Mama is played by one of my favorite actresses of all time, my sister Kim, who really to me is you know, a consummate, she's just, she's it. D-Rock, now I don't want you going out there and starting no trouble, cause mama don't wanna have to come down there and act a fool. Mama is kind of written kind of like my mama, and my mother loves the phone. He wants me to take him shopping for school clothes. I just hope his report card looks as good as the clothes I'm buying him. <laughs> <laughs> she's a disciplinarian, but she's a softy. You know, so at the end of the day, she might talk a mean game about what she's not gonna do or what she's not gonna get, but at the end of the day, she always finds a way to make her children happy. All right, D-Rock, you rushed me off the phone. Did you wash up? Yes, mama. You clean that dirty room? Yes, mama. You have to watch the show for the rest. Me and Marlon have a, a natural chemistry, not only just as uh, creative partners, but just as brothers. Me and him always had a, a really tight camaraderie, so we were the babies, and we were always a buddy comedy team. We have a very sort of uh, collective, creative process between myself, Marlon, Sean, and any of my other family. I'm doing what I love, when I love, how I love, why I love, and most of all, with who. I love, and I love, love, love my family. I consider my family, my brothers and sisters, to be my greatest blessing in life. And I don't think that'll ever change. Me and my brothers were always fans of Charlie Brown and um, Fat Albert, and we grew up on those type of shows. And me now, being a dad, I, I realized that those type of shows aren't around for our kids. So I wanted to do something that still had the same type of values and entertainment. And that's when we got together and did, you know, put together Thuggaboo. Thuggaboo and this message that we found as kids, which is you don't fail until you stop trying. And the fact that me and my family, we never stop trying. You can always be successful as long as you try. One for all and all for one. What do you think I'm doing now? My, you, what, no, what do you think? Okay. Can't read too well, I'm sorry. I want the one where he goes, uh, nah, nah. Nah, oh. Hang on a second. Yo, check it. Check it. Check it. <laughs>
Because of you, D-Rap, I'm retiring from rap. <laughs> it's your boy.